Uh, Andy, what's your desired uh, weight on fight night? Um, 260, uh, 265, no, nothing crazy. On my last fight, I was 250 something, and I only gained like two, three pounds. So for this, for this opponent, obviously I have to be big, I have to be strong, and most importantly, I have to be in condition and, and explosive, especially with, with Luis Ortiz. How's the new camp uh, helping you accomplish that? It's doing really good because I actually have two trainers that are, are on me 100% uh, full time, and you know all the all the the time is for me, you know. So mm -hmm. um, it's kind of harder on me, but this is exactly what we need—the hard training. You mentioned earlier that uh, Eddie's not completely out of the picture. Uh, what kind of a relationship can we expect between you and Eddie Reynoso? No, me and him are a good relationship with Canelo as well. Um, but they understand, you know, Canelo has a tough fight. Um, and under his belt as well, September 17th. And, you know, I think we both needed our, our fair time, you know, but, you know, um, there's not, nothing nothing bad going between us or nothing. Mm -hmm. Fighting in Southern California, once you know, once again, now you're fighting at the Crypto, formerly the Staples Center. There's been a lot of great fights here. Is this gonna be the case? It sure is. Like I said, I need to prove, not just to the people, but to myself. Um, I just gotta do better, you know, and, from the training that we've been doing and with the hard opponent that we have in front of us. Um, I think it's gonna be an amazing show September 4th. And it's my birthday, it's my birthday on September 11th, so I gotta get that, gotta get that <laughs> September win. And the last thing, I know you're focused on your fight, but just give me your thoughts on Jake Paul's upcoming fight against Hasee Rahman Jr. This is considered to be a real boxer now. People are very excited to see what, what happens in that fight. You know? I think a lot of people underestimate Jake Paul as well, just like how they did to me, you know? I think he has good fundamentals. He's He learns fast, and I think it's gonna be a hell of a fight, man. And, you know, a lot of people, talk shit and all that but at least he has the balls to go inside that ring because so many people lost their lives in getting inside that ring you know so you know it's crazy you know with Hasee maybe you could give him some advice because he's gonna have to lose a little bit of muscle and weight um you know how that can affect you like you were saying you don't want to lose too much because you don't feel this like you're the same fighter but um Hasee has to get down to 200 pounds i believe he might be like at 220 or something like any advice for him just that all how to go into that fight anyway? um, just to take it slow man take it easy i know they called him out of nowhere um for a late opponent you know but you know he got his opportunity he got his shot he's gonna get a good, good payday and you know it's his opportunity but um like i said everybody underestimates everybody and Everybody judges the books by his cover until they get inside the ring and throw blows. Yeah, but do, we'll see how it goes. Do those exhibitions interest you? They catch your attention? Yeah. If you like it, do you like what you're yeah, doing for the sport? You know, hopefully, you know, I love Mike Tyson. Uh -oh. Always been watching him, and it'll be an amazing <laughs> fighter. Me and him go do like a little exhibition, me and Tyson. Don't hurt Mike. Don't hurt Mike. <laughs> 